Hi guys, uh, welcome to Metal and Rock Zone. <clears throat> I wanna talk to you about a new album or a, well, a new band that I kind of discovered. Um, it's a band called Malicite and uh, they made an album late last year, late 2021, which I had never heard about. And I don't, I don't, I think I kind of went down the rabbit hole. I, um, it came as a suggested video or something came as a suggested video and then that afterwards and uh, on, on YouTube. And, uh, and I started listening and then I went on to Spotify to listen to the full album and I was like, hmm, this is really, really interesting. And this band is, uh, it's an American band and it's kind of, I don't know, to try and describe it, it's kind of like a, a bit of a dash of Megadeth, uh, Pantera even, some Lamp of God. And, uh, and the album, yeah, came out late, uh, but, it, yeah, but it, so it, it sounds a bit like this band, but not like any of them somehow. So which is cool, you know, um, and the album came late 2021, it's self-titled Malicite, and you can check them out, malicite.com, I think is, is their, their page, um, and, and they themselves say that they're 100% pure thrash, American thrash metal from South, uh, South Texas and North Georgia, um, and uh, I was curious about this band, so I actually, I reached out to them, and, uh, and because there were, there were certain things about their songs that I was I wanted to understand a little bit and, and so on. And the, the members are Mike D, he's on the bass, and uh, Michael S Silas, or Silas, he's, uh, he's the guitarist and, and, and singer, um, kind of the frontman, and then Sean Ropers on the drums. And as far as I understand, I think the Michael Silas and Sean Ropers are brothers, and then there's been the, f the second guitarist kind of more coming in and out of the band, but there's a guy with him now, I'm, I'm really, really sorry, I just don't um, remember his name right now uh, and I don't, I'm not even sure that he's a permanent member or, or, or what um, when I heard this first time I thought okay yeah th this this could have come out somewhere in the 90s you know somewhere from like let's say 80 86 to to 92 or something like that and uh, um, and I so I actually when I heard it first I thought it was something old I didn't realize that that someone would be making this stuff right now and uh, and they've, they've been playing, uh, when I, I spoke to them, it turns out that they, these guys have been playing for a while. Uh, they, they, uh, they, they did some warm-up gigs or like opened up for G-War and uh, Trivium, Mushroom Head, Devil Driver and uh, what's it called, Whitechapel. So these guys have kind of been around and uh, my first reaction to the album was that it was a great sound, but that surprised me a lot because often you kind of, yeah, you have, have with bands that, Especially nowadays, you know, they, they, they maybe don't get the sound when, when the band is kind of developing. But I, I got an understanding of why that is. I mean, these guys have actually been around for a long time, but they never just made the album in the beginning or, you know, like it took them a while. They, they broke up, got back together and then finally made the album. Uh, it's good musicianship. I mean, they, they obviously know how to play their instruments. And uh, the vocals are really cool in the sense that they are very diverse, you know, like you... And I get that feeling with this album that I'm not, sometimes when I listen to something new, I am like, oh, is, is this a new song or is it, I, you know, but with this, this album, there are 10 songs, they all have their own kind of style and character and in some sense a sound. And the vocals adds a lot to that because the guy can sing in, 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 in a very diverse way. The guitar sound is very powerful. This is like an album with like, a band with like a real attitude, you know, and uh, the topics are typical, you know, it's death, war, suicide, and violence, and, and they have uh, song titles like uh, We Spill Your Blood, Bullet uh, to the Face, and, and, you know, Time to Let Them Pay, I think, a Slow Suicide. So, um, so I wanted, yeah, when I, when I, I, I ran this through like two, three times, and it doesn't happen very often because I, 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 very, I listen to four or five new bands per week, but this one come, somehow came back and... and uh, yeah, and I don't know, I, I, I felt there's something a little bit different about this. So I, I wanted to understand what it was. And when I talked to talked to one of the guys, the bass player, Mike D, I, I spoke to him and he explained me that they actually started out as kind of like, like a hard rock, glam rock, American rock, like Guns N' Roses style band, but way back actually. And uh, so they wrote a lot of their songs back then and then 
kind of evolved into this thrash metal with a breakup in between and all that, and then they rewrote those songs. And I think you can hear it like on, on some of the songs that um, that they are, they're not your kind of typical thrash metal songs, but <laughs> some of them are, but they're not typical Guns N' Roses rock either. Um, and um, so, yeah, I, I, I think like they somehow stay true to the genre, but they add something, they go, it goes their own way. And some of the songs to look out for, I'm actually going to try and play here just from my other phone so to give you an idea, but the, 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 the first song, Slow Suicide, is really, really cool. I'll put that on here. Like a really good riff. You know, this is a band that has, you know, like hooks, riff, choruses and catchy stuff, but still cool. Good stuff. Yeah, that's kind of like, I wouldn't say Megadeth in, in I mean, yeah, maybe early Megadeth in, in the terms of, of playing and, and, the, and the sound, but singing definitely not. But, but there is a song here, I think, uh, this one here, let's start the countdown, which is... See where I'm coming from, Megadeth. Gotta hear the vocals when it comes in. Really really reminds me of the vocals on Countdown to Extinction with, with Megadeth. But anyway, so that, yeah, there are some really good songs. Slow Suicide, Bullet of the Face is about when Osama Bin Laden was, was killed. Uh, Hate Controls the Fist and uh, We Spill Your Blood. That has a super cool kind of breakdown thing or uh, like uh, in between, I don't know what you call it, a verse or a chapter or whatever. And, uh, and, and I think I can, I, the band says on their homepage, this, this is all, uh, killer no filler and uh, and they wanted to make a, an album which makes you want to go out and, and drive your car fast or or, or i don't know or, or do your personal best in the gym or something and, and and i think they they managed that they didn't overfill it so um i don't think that there is anything in there and i i heard that from mike the bass player that they they kind of left out songs that they weren't perfectly happy with so they just put in there what they were happy with they had really professional people helping them in the studio that have worked with other bands and gear also that, that has some association with uh, Slipknot, some amps or something like that. So, uh, and uh, and they, but they they kept it raw. It's not overproduced. Like the drums are recorded live. There's no tuning on the drums or, or anything like that. There are some really cool voiceovers that give it they give it a little bit of a more of a professional kind of Megadeth stylish way. You know, it adds some flavor to the songs, and. Uh, so my verdict on this is that I, as I said, I listen to four to five new bands per week and, and, and I can't say that all of them get into my regular rotation, but this one definitely will. So it's a really good debut album. I think some of the big thrash metal bands would have been very pleased to have released something like this when they were starting out. Um, so I think if you like Megadeth, Testament, Pantera, Lamp of God, and even, yeah, or some, some bands that are along these lines, then you will you will like this actually, and uh, I I really do hope uh, that I will hear more from this band. Um, I mean they are in two different states in the U.S. and far far away from each other, and and uh, so it's it's a bit it's obviously a band that has kind of had to deal with a long distance relationship for a long time, so maybe they know how to do it and. Uh, I will, I will try and get an interview with those guys and record something that I can share here to, to, to let you guys get to know this band a little bit better later. And uh, 
yeah, I, I, I would recommend this. You should check this out. I'm going to put links in the comment below here where you, links to some of the videos of the, or audio videos of the sound, uh, songs that are on YouTube. And uh, then I'll put a link to their page and, and where you can find all the social media and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I, I think if, if I would have gotten this album in my hands, like, I don't know, when I was like 13, 15, 16 or something, I, th this would have been on replay for, for sure. Um, and uh, so you, you guys do want to check this band out. Um, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you knew about them, actually, because I had never heard about this band. And I was, I'm so surprised when I find bands like this that I haven't heard about. And I'm so positively surprised about the quality of their music. Um, so let me know and uh, like this video and all that stuff, uh, all the usual stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and enjoy yourself. Bye.